Hello, welcome to Smile JV. My name is Brendan G. Today I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to search for cars using the Japanese auction system database. Let's do a quick search for a Toyota Altezza. So we click Toyota Altezza and then we can click on search. As you can see we've got 72 records. We're fairly late in the auction week today. It's Thursday today. If it was on a Monday there'd be a lot more cars in there. We can search uh, or filter the, the, the cars that are displayed by mileage. So if you want a high kilometre car or a low kilometre car, you can click on the different arrows and get the various kilometres. You can also sort by condition, in other words the auction grade, and get a better idea on what's available. And we can also search for obviously various year models. Let's have a look at this car at HAA Cobair. On the left here we've got HAA Cobair and the lot number, we've got the year, the specs, the model code, and the model code is very good for searching. We also get a few pictures, the mileage, the condition or the auction grade and the auction sheet. If we click on the view button we get a, a screenshot of only this car. You can see down the bottom here we also get an internal picture which can be good for looking at things like the seat colours or navigation systems and obviously we've got the auction report there. Have a look at our other video on how to read auction reports if you want to have a look at that. A really good function of this system is that we can click on statistics by model and over here we can get average prices for different grades and different kilometres for this car and we can select the chassis ID number to limit that or change that. So SXE10 is the RS200 and as you can see on the left we've got the different grades, different auction grades. As the grade gets higher the price increases. So 900,000 for a grade 4.5, a grade 3.5 is obviously cheaper. As the mileage goes up the price goes down. So a grade 4.5 with less than 25,000 kilometres is going to be about 1.1 million yen. If you go up to something that's a, a higher kilometres so 75 to 100,000 kilometres, the price comes down. Another way, another good function is to sort the data. So let's just say we know what we're looking for. We want an Alteza that's only a grade 4 car and that's got a mileage, let's say, between uh, 50 and 100,000. So we can type in 50. These are in 1,000 kilometres, 100. We only want that particular chassis ID, which is the RS200, and so that has the, the, the chassis ID SXE10. And we only want to look at grade 4.5 cars. And we can also put the year in. So let's just say we want from 2004 to 2000. So we're narrowing down the search quite specifically. And there you go. We only get a few cars. And we can even sort them once again from top to bottom based on the mileage. Over here on the left we've got a few different prices. We've got a start and a sold price. The sold price is only going to be active on the day that the car is sold and then it goes into the past sales results and past sales results are available for all of our Smile JV members. The blue number is an average price based on the model code. It's not always accurate because it's based on the model code. For example, this car here sold at 600,000 yen today, yet the computer was only picking up averages for this particular model code. So the computer was saying the average price was 300,000 yen and it sold for 600,000 yen. So it's not always good to look at that. We do need to look more into the car. This one obviously had some special features. So there's a quick rundown on how we can use the auction database to search for particular cars and then narrow it down to what we're looking for. Thanks for watching.